CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. Why am I not done yet? I saw something which made me go back inside the eye. Watch the case carefully, see if you can figure it out. So here you go, end of the case, nice looking Rexus. Put some viscoelastic, get that bag nicely expanded. And now I'm getting ready to put the lens in. So here comes our lens. It's going to be a single piece monofocal acrylic lens. Toric design. There it goes in the capsule bag pretty nicely. And again, I think, just think we're doing great. Just a normal routine case here. And now get the haptic to open up. We'll get this toric lens aligned appropriately at the correct meridian. And again, remember the view through our surgical microscope is better than even this HD video. This is a high def video that's 1920 by 1080 pixels or also called 1080p. And this is depending on YouTube, 25 or 30 frames a second. And you can have a really good view and it's enough to enjoy it on your phone, etc. But this is not sufficient to do really high quality surgery. And that's why now your heads up display machines are always 4K videos. And let alone low definition standard def videos. Those are just 480p or 640, whatever, those are nonsense. Those are complete nonsense. So this is obviously a pretty good video, but it's not sufficient. So now the lens is lined up. Look, I got a nice looking Rexus lining up the lens where I want it. I'm making sure it's in a really good position. So okay, I'm happy, but now, I still kind of notice something. All right, let's seal the incision. Do you notice it yet? Look near the paracentesis, the left side of your screen there. Near that paracentesis, there's something going on. Look at that. Hey, surprise. You didn't even see it, did you? Right, because the view through the video here is not as good as through the microscope. So I'll aspirate that piece down and check this out. I got another surprise for you. Did you see it yet? Where's the other surprise? So now, okay, we're done. You think you're done with the case, right? Seal up the incision and a little bit of BS. Oh, look at the another piece. What do you know? Now, we like to do the angle sweep thing where we go and inject the end of the case BSS towards the angle to make sure there's no viscoelastic trap there. Also, make sure there are no little nuclear pieces like you saw here. So there were two little cataract pieces here. Now, it's pretty common to have a retained lens piece after routine cataract surgery. And that's because, look, how do we do the surgery? We break up the cataract into a lot of little pieces and emulsify them and aspirate them out of the eye. Well, sometimes you can have a little piece that's hidden under the iris sometimes. The pupil doesn't dilate that well. Sometimes out there in the sulcus, you can have a piece that's stuck in the angle of the eye. Sometimes it's hard to see, um, depending on the cornea, depending on the color of the iris. But in a case like this, you just got to remember, look very carefully, vigil vigilantly. And so here at the end of the case, viscoelastic is not present in the eye. We can tell that because we put triamcinolone, and that's, again, filling the whole eye, swirl that around. You can put in your myostat, myocall if you'd like to. You could put in your antibiotic here and call this a day. So end of the case looks just fine, patient did beautifully, there were no more retained pieces. But keep in mind, you can always have a retained piece, you got to look very, very carefully, and especially at a high definition microscope view. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out our weekly podcast, every week an amazing podcast, really great guests, incredible one hour conversation, I promise it'll be such great insight into your practice. It'll make you a better ophthalmologist and make you more successful in your life. You remember years ago, you didn't think you needed to watch a cataract coach video every day. And now what? You subscribe and you watch a cataract coach video every single day. Well, it's the same thing with the podcast. You're going to love the podcast, I promise you. And you'll look forward to listening to it every week. Just an hour. Listen to it while you exercise or you commute to work. Check it out everywhere where you find podcast services. Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, and more. And I'll catch you next time.